Now we've got this unprecedented succession of interest rate hikes, which will dramatically slow the economy, drive up unemployment with no immediate impact on inflation, such that inflation, that is increased prices and increased borrowing costs, are putting pressure on all household budgets. But now the same experts who couldn't see the train crash coming, that's last year, are saying, oh, the Reserve Bank might have to start supporting the economy. That is, it's time for the Reserve Bank to back off, press the pause button and wait to see what's going to happen following the fastest string of interest rate increases in the last 30 years. I've said before, raising interest, interest rates is a blunt instrument. How could we have any faith in what the Reserve Bank is saying? If their job is to keep inflation within the target set in 1996, 2 to 3%, then the Reserve Bank has failed and the punter knows it. Petrol's up, food prices are up, electricity, gas, the mortgage, all Australians, 26 million of them, know this every day. The Reserve Bank has just found out and it's now belting us with the highest successive interest rate increases in 30 years. And the governor says they'll get inflation back to 2 to 3%, quote, over time, unquote. What the hell does over time mean? And he says forecasting inflation will be, quote, around 3%. What does around mean? Three, five, four? I repeat what I said months ago, and now my comment, comments have become a chorus within media and so-called experts. This mob have failed in their job. They didn't move quickly enough. When the Reserve Bank of New Zealand stopped printing money in the coronavirus response last July, we kept dishing it out until February. When the Reserve Bank of New Zealand stuck up interest rates last October, we didn't start until May this year. As the formidable and reputable economic commentator Terry McCran, to whom I'll speak tomorrow night, has pointed out, it was mid-July last year, mid-July, that the governor of the New Zealand Reserve Bank said that it aimed to, quote, tighten monetary conditions. Mid-July. Not normalise them, tighten them. It was going to get inflation back to its 1% to 3% range. Even now, our Reserve Bank and its failed governor say they'll get inflation to 2 to 3% over time. Look, the Reserve Bank board plainly has lost its way. Its only job with thousands of staff is to get inflation back to what was agreed upon by Peter Costello and the then RBA Governor Ian McFarlane in 1996, a 2 to 3% inflation target. They failed. And they failed the hundreds of thousands of borrowers who are now suffering. I said months ago they shouldn't have a job. We have to be able to do better. For Treasurer Jim Chalmers to say, our job is not to try to influence the Reserve Bank or second guess their decisions, that is wimpish talk, Treasurer. You've got a Reserve Bank board and a governor who have failed Australians. They were wrong last year. We've got no proof that they aren't wrong again this year. The Treasurer, you can't be worried about the sensitivities of the precious elites on the board of the Reserve Bank. Your concern has to be with the millions of Australians who've been misled and dudded.